What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Um, it's been a little bit since I've posted a full YouTube video um, in regards to a product or what have you. But I did end up purchasing a new lens. It is the Rokinon Autofocus 14 millimeter 2.8 lens. And I got that about, wow, maybe like a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago. And um, it has been an amazing purchase. Uh, the one thing that I feel very, very bad about is I did end up cracking the, uh, the built-in lens hood right there. And so, unfortunately, Rokinon doesn't cover you know, damage to that but um, at least cosmetics. So that's unfortunate, but not a big deal. It is still intact. Put a little bit of duct tape there and it's all good as new. Um, <clears throat> but I did purchase, I purchased that lens mainly for the field of view. It has such a wide angle that I'm able to capture my subjects and be as close to them as possible, but I'm still capturing the majority of them. So uh, what I've been using it mostly for recently has been skateboarding. And so this summer has been really cool. I've been shooting a lot more skateboarding and going to the skate park. And uh, the, other, other, the other cool thing about this lens is the astrophotography that I've been able to take. Uh, out here in Mammoth, you have a very good view of the Milky Way. And so one of my good pals, Brad Chamberlain, check him out. He is a phenomenal photographer and videographer, um, but he recommended getting a 14 millimeter um, and his astro photos were astounding. So I, out of jealousy maybe and practicality, I needed to get this lens. So yeah, so that's what I've been using for. And looking at past footage from the winter of this past season, I noticed that with a wider lens that I would be able to capture more of the subjects, skiing and snowboarding. Uh, I felt as though I had a different kind of style going in to the season where it's very like detail oriented. I did a lot of like close medium shots and close shots and it's kind of cool, at least in my opinion, but I think overall it's good to have the whole subject doing a trick, not maybe just the actual skis or snowboard. I'm really excited to see what this lens can do. The other really awesome thing about this lens is that it is weather sealed. Definitely need that. The other thing that I did end up purchasing with this lens from Rokinon is the uh, lens station. So what's really cool about that is you're able to kind of customize the lens. Um, you can speed up the autofocus, especially, and you can actually speed up the manual focus, which is really interesting. Um, <clears throat> but when I did crack the lens hood, it stopped focusing that day. So I was really freaking out that I might've got a broken lens now, like totally just non-functioning because I crashed filming skateboarding. And uh, yeah, but luckily you can attach that to the lens station and it recalibrates everything and it's back to normal. So, Really kudos to Rokinon for uh, having that set up so that you can fix your lens without having to send it back, um, which is really awesome. Um, other little things, I guess, about it. I like that it's really like, it's kind of just low profile. It's not a very complicated lens. You have your autofocus, your manual focus switch right there. Uh, it's just kind of like, I honestly like how 
sleek, simple, and just the overall look of it. Um, I, will, I really enjoy kind of just the presence that it brings to the camera. It's not too big and it's not very heavy whatsoever, which is really nice, but the glass is pretty high quality for a lens that's like 550 bucks. You know, this is definitely one of my cheaper lenses that I have. So I'm kind of stoked that it's, it produces such a great image. Um, not only for stills, but also for video. And then the other thing that I really like is it's actually quite fast when it is autofocusing. Um, it does have a little bit of noise. So for video and for all those filmmakers and videographers, just be aware that if you do purchase this particular lens, it is quite loud. It's really awesome to see uh, other companies other than Canon um, coming out with lenses that are pretty comparable to what Canon is manufacturing and producing. Um, I haven't shot with a Canon lens in that wide of an angle, so I have nothing really to compare it to, but I am really happy with the image quality that I am getting. So that's kind of my review. I would say it's quite durable as I have cracked it and it still works really well. Uh, so five stars overall out of five. Um, no complaints here. Uh, I am really excited again to see what it does during the winter time, if it can kind of bear and handle the cold, uh, high winds and stuff like that. But for the time being, it has handled me crashing, handled dust, dirt, uh, and kind of like my my style of shooting of run and gun and moving a lot. And this summer, I haven't really used a gimbal a whole lot whatsoever. So a lot of freehand shooting. Um, and then the other thing I really like about this lens, because it is a wide angle lens, it is quite stable. Um, it's There's not a whole lot of shake when it comes to me filming. And so that is another big plus to this particular lens. Um, there's no sort of stabilization with the inside of the lens, uh, like some of the Sigma lenses that I have. So it's pretty cool to have something that is quite simple. There's not a whole lot going on. I think in terms of other aspects of a lens that you can have, there's simply just the elements that are inside, the autofocus, and that's it. So it's really great to have something that's very compact, sleek, simple, but is able to shoot at high quality um, and capture a high quality image. Uh, but that's all I got for today. Thanks, and I hope to see you all. Please like, subscribe if that is something that you want to do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.